Hello. Uh, another one. Uh, this one is uh, cutting holes in geometry. So, just done Studio Max. Let's let's do Blender while we're here. So, um, it's a box. Go into uh, edit. Actually, before we go into edit mode, off. Let's go edit mode. Stephen, off. Go to object mode. Go to file. Um, user preferences, add-ons, and then look under mesh. Basically, turn most of these things on. So we got. Mesh tonic had tools, relax, loop tools, insert polygon, mesh F2, and GPL B surfaces. Have them and then hit save user settings. So when we go into this, let's go into tab mode to edit mode. Got all these polygons selected. Let's go and subdivide it a couple of times. So we got that. So that's cool. Click off it. We're going to go to polygon selection down the bottom here. And what we're going to do is select these guys. Again, we're going to go and check the back, make sure we're not accidentally selecting anything else. So that's all cool. What we need to do now is inset this. So let's go into here and we're going to go and hit the din, 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 inset faces and then uh, click and drag down here. Or you've also got these guys down here, you can sort of use that as well. But we'll just click and drag. So that's cool. What we need to do now is make this circular. So, stupidly, there is a tool called I look for I'm looking for loop tools called circle so that fixes that it's a little bit big so I'm going to scroll up to the top and just scale it down a little bit so click and drag to scale it down and all we need to do now is uh, extrude it out a little bit so let's go to extrude region and we'll go uh, there I'm going to go and do it again click extrude region and then I'm going to go extrude region again that's cool and then what we need to do now is inset these faces a little bit so inset faces just click and drag a little bit down there so that's all good and groovy next thing we need to do is some insert some loops so we need to swap out to edge mode so now we're in edge mode deselect everything let's go and add some edges so we need to do uh, loop cut and slide and the key shortcut key is control R so Hold down Control and R, and we can add in click and then let it slide. That's cool. Control R, go here. Okay, that's cool. Control R, go here. That's cool. Control R, one more and back. Click and drag that there. Control R, one one down here somewhere. And then Control R, we need one over here. And that should hold all those edges now. Uh, are we cool? I think we're cool. Hmm, let's have a look. So, let's go over to modify. Actually, before we do that, tab out, go to object mode, and then go to uh, modifier, add a modifier, subdivision surface, and make it two, and then also make it smooth. And that basically has done that. And that's how to make a round extrusion or intrusion, depending on what you want to do. So quite good actually, you know, compared to Max, I'd say as good, if not possibly easier. <laughs> uh yeah, there you go. Right, that will do. Cheers, bye.